Hello, my name is Akmal, and today I am going to explain about my AI project. Uh, now, I named my project a car detection, uh, which I will explain on to after this. Uh, now, before I am going to explain it even further, I want to thank you to my family for supporting me making this project. Uh, and then I actually want to thank people like giving me a tutorial, helping me with this. It's actually been stress stressful enough to make this and I'm really happy of how it does. But there is some unfortunate thing which I will explain later. Now, about myself. My name is Muhammad Akmal Duan Saputra, but uh, everyone can call me Akmal. Right now, I am in ninth grade uh, in junior high school student in Malang. Uh, I've been coding for a year now. Uh, the first time I code is actually a game for a school project, which is not that impressive. <laughs> now, I want to tell you about the problem uh, I've seen. It's probably a common problem. Uh, the problem I've seen uh, with car and stuff, there is a lot of car accidents, uh, mostly because sometimes people doesn't pay attention to the road. So they sometimes like playing on their phone or just, for example, like tired after, you know, work or probably have some long journey to do, for example, like going on like outside of a city or something. Now, the, the solution I did is making an AI that can detect pedestrian or car so that there is not going to be a lot of accident regarding people not paying attention to the road. So I make, it's basically an AI, a Tesla AI, which I actually really, really interested on. Now, the usage and ethics of the AI. This AI can be used for an upcoming electric cars, like for example, Tesla, like I said before. Now, this AI can detect about 80 to 90% correct using a pattern instead of an actual machine learning. So this actually, I actually don't have enough resource and time to make the AI actually learn how to detect a car, but this is pre this is good enough. It's pretty close, though I have uh, a problem. Unfortunately, this I sometimes detect something that isn't a car or isn't detecting anything, which is pretty weird. But like I said, it it it's using a pattern instead of a actual machine learning. So they, it's basically like slapping something and seeing, oh, is it correct or not? Uh, which is, as you can see with the two picture below, the picture one, it's actually detects something that isn't a car. It's just a shadow and it's just a shadow that the AI detects or as a car, which is, isn't. And the second one is a car that actually isn't detecting my guess of the second image is probably because of the lighting, which is not really good. Now, before that, I actually want to show a thing that I make, which is a video, by the way. It's not a image, it's a video, which I will show right now. Uh, what is it? Ah, there you go. Uh, where is it? There you go. Now, as you can see, it does detect pretty good. But like I said, it doesn't really detect too much. Unless it has a good lighting, it will detect it. But if it doesn't, it's probably going to detect random thing. But it does work. As you can see, it's pretty much work. Now, uh, the 
problem I've had, uh, this probably won't going to fit on a car because the AI is really basically tracking something random. Uh, they're just trying to slap a, so the, the image or the video is processed into a black and white and then trying to detect which pattern is which. If there's a correct pattern, it will put a red square onto the thing that the AI thinks it's a car. That's why there isn't really much you know, to do. Now, that's all I have to say. It's a bit short, but I hope to catch you all later. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.